my camping trip has just started and already nothing's gone to plan. I don't have a new plan yet. I'm Courtney and I love all kinds of adventures. This weekend's adventure is my first ever backcountry camping trip. The plan is to paddleboard to an island to solo camp, then take a day trip to paddle from the island to a waterfall and back. But as we all know, outdoor adventures don't always go to plan. About two months ago, I posted a review of the paddleboard I'm currently using, the Cocopelli Chasm Light, and in that video I mentioned that I didn't feel this board had enough storage for a camping trip, but I had a plan. I had originally intended to DIY a solution, but I was able to find a good kit on Amazon that'll link below. The only thing that doesn't come with the kit is an adhesive, but you can use the glue that comes with the board as part of the repair kit or E6000. I did have a little bit of trouble finding the campsite. This is the map from recreation.gov, and this is where the campsite actually is. There's also no signs and not really a clear path. So this is my campsite for the weekend. So far I have mixed feelings about it. First, it's super cool to me that I'm camping on an island. I love that I'm surrounded by water. I don't know, it just seems like really cool. It's pretty all around me. Um, it's not a very big island. This is the only campsite on it. There's basically like just this campsite area and then there's like a trail that leads about halfway down the island maybe, nothing really there. The downside though is that it seems to be covered in trash. Like there's an absurd amount of trash here, which is disappointing and also kind of difficult to clean up being that it is on an island. So I've made it to camp. I'm like most of the way set up. Basically my camping trip has just started and already nothing's gone to plan. Any drive that's like four hours or over, I try and break it up with some stops along the way. This was right about at four hours, so I was like, all right, I'll stop and I'll go mountain biking on the way. Great idea. I was planning on going to a park I've been to before. I know I like it, it's really fun. And there was like a 4% chance of rain. I'm like, all right, we should be good. It literally started raining right as I pulled into the parking lot. It wasn't raining like, super hard so I was like yeah maybe I'll be all right everyone else was leaving I was like Ugh, I'll go check it out I didn't even ride for 15 minutes it's all like clay there so the water was just pooling on top so couldn't ride it's like oh whatever I'll just continue on drive I'll get to camp a little early I'll be fine so 
I pretty much packed everything last night, but as I was falling asleep, I was like, ah, I gotta remember my fin for my paddleboard. You know, it's in my room, I didn't put it out yet. Gotta remember to grab that, I'll remember. Got here, started inflating my paddleboard, realized I did in fact forget my fin. Turns out my paddleboard is very difficult to paddle without a fin. I'm not saying that's exclusive to my paddleboard, I'm sure most are, but uh, it basically just spins around in circles when you try and paddle straight. So I don't go camping to just like sit around and hang out at camp. I go camping to like do things in the area that's further than a day trip for me. So my plan for basically all day tomorrow was go on a long paddle trip. Uh, my longest trip to date was like five miles. This one's 14 is gonna go see a cool waterfall. And um, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen now. I don't have a new plan yet. Um, once I finish getting camp set up, I'm gonna take the paddleboard back out and just kind of paddle around the island. So all my camp stuff was on my paddleboard in order to get here. I'm hoping the extra weight had something to do with it, so I'm gonna try it without the extra weight and see if I can manage it. If not, I'm gonna have to come up with a new plan. So this is my first time ever backcountry camping and it's very interesting so far. I really like that I don't have a bunch of neighbors right next to me, that's pretty cool. I am not yet used to that I can't bring a ton of options with me. So when I go car camping, like I can just bring options for everything, like I can bring multiple food options, I can bring, I can bring multiple clothing options if I don't know what the weather's gonna be doing. I can bring both my sleeping bag and my quilt. That's one I debated with for a while on this trip. The weather wasn't very clear. When I was checking the weather, it was right on the edge of like, if I'd really need my sleeping bag or not. My sleeping bag's a bit heavier than my quilt. I have a rumple. And if it's warm out, that's what I like to camp with. It's lighter and smaller, which would be good for this, but it's just, I don't need that much warmth. I don't need the whole warmth of my sleeping bag if it is warm out. But the weather forecast made it very debatable. So I was like, well, I better be safe and bring the sleeping bag. If it stays this warm, there's no way I'm going to use it tonight. And like with my clothes, like if I'm car camping, I can bring a bunch of different options if it's warmer or cooler than I expected. But I had to like be very deliberate with my clothing choices this time. Same with food. Like I usually bring extra and then whatever I don't eat, I just eat when I get home. But I... I still brought extra food, but I didn't bring nearly as much extra as I normally would. Also, I'd like to get more into like making my own backpacker type meals. I was like, eh, maybe for the first backcountry camping trip, I'll buy some. So I found two that I was really excited to try and it had like four to six day shipping. I'm like, eh, that's close, but we should be good. Shipping ended up taking seven days and it will get to my house tomorrow. So instead I have box mac and cheese, which it's cheap, much cheaper than a backpacking meal. And then rice, but I didn't want plain rice. I don't really like plain rice. I remembered I had a backpacking meal once. It was like mango sticky rice. So I got some dehydrated mango or freeze dried mango and I put it in. So I'm gonna cook them together. So it's gonna be like a dumbed down version of the backpacking mango sticky rice, which is already a dumbed down version of the original. So this is either gonna be a really good idea or a really bad idea. And we'll, we'll see when it happens. So now that camp's set up, I'm gonna take the paddle board back out and paddle around the island a little bit and see if, now that it doesn't have all that extra weight on it, if it's more manageable. Meaning I wonder if I can at least paddle straight.
I'm not quite sure what this orange and green stringy stuff wrapped around the other plant is. I feel like it might be like a parasite type plant, like it might be using it. There's more of it though. It's a bunch of little tiny fish. They're maybe an inch long, if that. I think that might be the worst night of sleep I've ever gotten camping. This isn't a very big island, and I walked around like half of it, and I didn't see any signs of wildlife besides like birds, I'm sure like turtles and frogs and stuff live here. Apparently something of decent size lives here too. It's nocturnal. It's a goose. But it's very noisy. That's not what I heard on night. I heard something traipsing through all the brush. I got up the first couple times to shine my headlamp around and try and figure out what it was. But I don't know. Like the first few, few times I got up and looked, but the more it made noise, the more I just was annoyed I couldn't sleep. I'm a very light sleeper. So this is what the landscape of most of the island looks like, and I could just hear something moving through all this all night. So this thing I thought was a piece of trash sitting in my campsite this whole time. Apparently at one point was the sign to show you like where the camping spot was. So add to the list of things that did not go to plan. I'm fairly certain I just found poison ivy in an area that I definitely walked through yesterday. I literally just got off medicine for poison ivy like four days ago. So we'll see. And then I brought the wrong cord to charge my phone. Last time I went camping I brought two cords so I can charge my phone and GoPro batteries at the same time. I only ended up using one and charging them one at a time, so I was like, I'll just bring one this time, I'll be fine. Apparently last time I brought one right cord and one wrong cord, and then this time when I grabbed a cord, I just grabbed the wrong one. So one of the breakfasts I like to have if I'm car camping is granola with freeze-dried berries and oat milk. So I'm trying something similar. I have granola with freeze-dried berries, and then I added powdered oat milk that I got from Amazon. We'll see how it works. Um, you're supposed to mix it with warm water and then put it in the refrigerator to cool it. But if I had a refrigerator, I would just use normal oat milk. Um, so we're gonna see if it actually works. Also a bit of an experimentation with the ratio. I don't know, usually I just pour however much milk looks good, but I had to kind of estimate because it's like two tablespoons of powder for a cup. I was like, that sounds about right, so we'll see. Alright, 
so possibly could use some more liquid. Um, I don't know, it looks chocolate milky. See how it actually tastes. Also, see if I can actually eat out of here. I probably should have brought my longer titanium spork, but I knew I was going to eat out of my pot too, and I can't stand like the feeling of the titanium on the metal pot. It's fine so far. I have never left a camping trip early before. But with this trip going how it was, leaving a day early seemed like the best option. It seemed kind of pointless to just sit at the campsite all day, and I didn't want to do such a long paddle without a fin. In theory, I could have stayed the full length I had planned, but why? To prove what, and to who. I go camping for fun, somewhat frequently that's type 2 fun, but it's something that it is at least fun when I look back at it. I decided my best bet was to go back to the bike park I tried to go to on my way here and hope the rain holds off so I could actually ride today. My biggest concern when coming on this trip was that my bike would get stolen from my car at the boat launch while I was on the island, but it's here. So happy I don't have to deal with a stolen bike. that I spent a fair bit of time talking about all the things that went wrong on this trip, so I'd just like to mention, I'm also aware of the fact that when things go wrong in the backcountry, they can go very wrong. So while this wasn't the camping trip I had planned, I am very grateful that at no point did I get injured or have to deal with any dangerous situations. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to be always adventuring.